Caroline. She's hogging the screen. I have to literally <sighs> sit on your knee and go back a bit. I'm here with Caroline Barnes. Caroline is like a super makeup artist extraordinaire. And what, Am I allowed to say who you work on? Yeah, if you want. I mean, I'm working on you today. Working on me, obviously. Pinnacle of your career. But Kylie... Oh, no, I worked with Kylie for, for many, many years. For many, many, many years. Treasured but you, you just do all the, the big stars, don't you? Well, there's lots of stars to be had and lots of faces to be painted, so yeah, I guess. And you know, lots of tricks. Caroline today <laughs> is showing me, or us, how to counteract the signs of ageing or tiredness in your face. So there are five key um, places where you can make a change and make yourself look more youthful or more awake. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go back to the start and take all of this off. Um, I'm lying. We're just filming it in a different order. But we are going to go back to the start and show you what we did. Right. Go for it. Are you filming now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have you got on your skin? Moisturiser. Okay, so before I start, as you get tireder, your skin loses its hydration. Mm -hmm. So I love to use little facial oils pre and post makeup just on this area of the skin. Okay. Because this area catches the light beautifully, the higher planes of your face, not on your nose or pubis bow, but just here. And it's a real feel good factor to have a nice facial oil just on the outside of your skin. I use it a lot at work. So that one smells amazing. Really Is that well. Neroli? Yes. Oh. And it just blends really well. You might think it'd be too heavy, but it's not too heavy. It blends really well with the makeup. It's the oils are so fine. Sometimes moisturisers can feel heavy and almost quite claustrophobic on your skin. Mm. So I'm just going to use a tiny little stipple brush. And it's small because I'm only going to work on small areas of your face. I'm just going to use a wash of a tinted moisturiser first of all. Just want to keep that glow in your skin. And also you want to make it nice and easy. Now it's always like a wash first of all. You see what effect that foundation does, mm -hmm. and then you go to those target areas and build up. Great. Easy. I'm going to use three products okay. to brighten your eyes. This so is concealing we're talking about now? Yes. Okay. So, first product, and squeeze on my hands, is an opaque concealer. Right. Okay. So I've got a little flat concealer brush, because again, the smaller the brush, the denser the product. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to apply this to the bluey, grey area of your eye that needs to be lifted. And you can see quite dramatically that this colour is much lighter than the colour that I've used on your base. Because if you're concealing anything that's dark on your skin, you need to lift the colour, or it's just going to look grubby under the skin. Right. Okay. So how many shades lighter is that? Just a shade lighter. Okay. Okay, really important, go back to your brush and just blend those edges. And this brush still has a little bit a foundation left in it so it kind of connects those colours together, yeah? Mm -hmm. So just push that together. Nice. Great. So that's blended in now. So that's going to cover anything, as you can see, that's dark. Still looks quite obvious. Go with it. Okay. Right. Just to layer on top, and you can use a straight from the brush, is a light reflecting concealer. This is a Clinique airbrush. I've okay. used this for years and years. It's one of my favourite ones my as favorite, well. Yeah. So I'm just pushing this over the top. Now, you may think, oh, well, I'm too old for this. It looked too much under my eyes and you're using too much. Just press it on top. And a lot of people, when they put this type of concealer on, they put it on and they go, like that's a windscreen wiper. Yeah, I do that, yeah. Well, that's just pointless. I know I tap. Uh, sometimes I swipe. Because it just feels like there's a lot. We're not put too much on your head. <laughs> the reason is, like, if you push the product in, this product has got light reflecting particles in it. So if you swipe, you're just moving those particles out of the way. Right. Use an eyeshadow brush with translucent powder to set this shot of light on the inner corner of the eye. Not only really shapes the eye beautifully, but it adds as a source of distraction and a shot of light in an area where you feel tired. That's great. Next thing. Mm -hmm. Sunken cheeks as you get older, you you lose the volume. That's what I noticed in the, I know that these are really small differences between these photos because not that many years, but it is things that I've noticed since I've been tireder. And you lose that, everything just starts going down that way a bit and you lose the volume in your cheeks, don't you? Mm -hmm. But everybody's contouring and that makes them look even more sunken. 
So what's a more youthful, what, cheek-wise, what is youthful? Okay, so the contouring gives you angles to your face, mm. okay, which gives you a more older, sophisticated, sexy finish to your face, yeah? When you're younger, you have a more natural, softer flush. So that's what we need to do. As your face becomes more angular, maybe you've lost weight, or you've been a bit poorly, or you're tired, or you're getting older, you want to really kind of give the fullness to your cheeks. Mm -hmm. So you want to stop those diagonal lines and those angular finishes to your face. Take a line directly from your pupil, down, that's your starting point, and the fullness, the highest point of your cheek, you just really need to create that soft flush. Not taking it too far out, and you bring it down just like that. It's not an upward movement on the cheek, ah. but it just gives a little bit of radiance to the skin. It makes it a little bit fuller. And don't take it up, you just want to take it down slightly. Just giving yourself a wash. And I love this kind of colour because it just really makes the whites of your eyes mm. bright. And the blueness of your eyes is just a little bit sharper. And it's so delicate. So this is my powder brush for you today. And are we using translucent again? Translucent powder, yeah. So under chin, two sides of nose, in between your brow. If those areas of your face are matte, everything else can glow. Right. So with your brows, every shape is different. What we want to fight against is everything coming down. So we want to lift up. Mm -hmm. The quickest way to do that is to really sharpen your brow pencil and paint very fine hair-like strokes just on top of the arch of your brow. On top of the arch? Yep, yeah, on top of the arch. Spray the brush with hairspray and lift them up. What you're doing is challenging the direction of the contours and features of your face. Now your brow is oh. up, the hairs are going up, and the hairspray, because it's light, unlike a lot of the eyebrow gels that I've used, it keeps it upright. Yeah, and it's non-claggy. Claggy? Is that such a word? I don't know. Cloggy? It is now. <laughs> I used this um, face cream, and it's a uh, Kiehl's um, vitamin C one. I've been using it for years, but I'm comparing it to a new one that I'm trying. And every time, I was only this hand, the hand that I apply it with, it smells of meat. I won't make you sniff it. Mm. But it smells, oh, go on and sniff it. Rose lamb? No, yeah. I can't smell it. It smells meaty to me. Anyway, back to the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if we look at Ruth's face, the socket is slightly lower on her left side to her right. So all you need to do is put a little bit of shadow to knock it back. Close your eyes. So put it on the tip of the brush. It's a nice cream, so it's literally like finger painting. Take it up into the socket. Just the area you want to push back and blend with your finger. I mean, these cream eyeshadows are so lovely because it's like painting by numbers. So your other eye, you would probably just put it onto your lid. Just where you get that lovely banana shape here, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this, I've taken further up. Open your eye for me. So where your socket was falling forward, having the darker colour just where that socket was falling down gives the illusion of it being pushed back. So push again the colour, most importantly, to the bed of the lashes. We're working on the outside of the eye. And I'm going above your socket because this is where the extra skin is that I want to push back. And because it's cream, it's super soft to blend. With a clean brush, push that back and blend it towards the brow. Great. So anyway, so you can look directly in the mirror and go, look directly in the mirror for me. Right, so I hate this part of my eye and use it almost as like your eraser. So you'll just go, right, that's the part I don't want. Well, that's the part you exactly need to place the colour onto. And then use a clean brush and blend it back so it looks natural. It's mm -hmm. a soft effect. It's makeup. It's all surgery. Yeah. But it will create that illusion yeah. of a wider eye. So you're going to curl your lashes now. And we're going to focus on the lashes in the centre of your lid. We're going to make sure they really are pronounced and upright. And when we apply the mascara, we're going to concentrate on the mascara in the middle of the eye. So you get that lift. We're not going for anything feline. Okay. Have I done my lashes all right? Yeah, well, I'll do, I suppose. <laughs> I hate curling lashes. Now, I need you to look at your knees for me because I am going to do your mascara for you. 
So lifting your brow, placing mascara wand right on your lash line. It probably feels a bit wet, but I'm sorry, go with it. I'm basically placing the most amount of mascara to the roots of your lashes to create foundation, yeah? Mm -hmm. I look down for me, and again, the final one, it's just these lashes in the center that need to be lifted. So hold on, you're not really putting mascara along the lengths of the outside lashes? No, because I want a round eye effect. Okay. We're not going for slinky feline eyes here. Mm -hmm. We want open, fresh, awake eyes. Ding! So everything goes up, nothing's going down, everything's lifted. A lot of people start putting their mascara at the tips of their lashes, which instantly weighs it down. So the tips almost should just have the finest amount of mascara on. It's like building a big sandcastle. Foundation's at the bottom, then it gets tinier and tinier at the top. I've never used that sandcastle analogy. I before. like it though. You're <laughs> coming you out with all of the good ones today. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Perfect. Mm. So that just gives a lift. Um, so as you get one. older, lips get thinner. Thinner lips also can be due to the lip line just being a little bit softer. Right. So you lose the colour in your lips. Mm -hmm. So those stains are really good, the sort of lip inks that you can get to really boost the colour. But as you lose the definition in your lip line, your lips can look smaller. So increasing the definition and making them rounded. Don't go for that sharp Cupid's bow. Okay. Nice and still, you can't talk now as I'm doing your lips. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So a very mm -mm -mm. neutral lip liner, which you'll love because you like that knockback colour. But all I'm going to do is just bring out, you see here and here, mm -hmm. the roundness of your lips, you get a slight dip here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make this a bit fuller. Just literally on this outer corner here. And just push it into the lip. You can probably see once I've done one side the difference. And I just love to use a lip line just to fill in. To give great shape. And it just gives you a little bit more colour as well that lasts a bit longer. You want to choose a colour that's very near to your own lip shade. You haven't got bright, bright pink lips. But just by, that's it, that lovely rounded shape there. Oh yeah. So here, it's just that fullness. It's like you're giving your lips hips. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I do. Lips do you know what I like about you? Like, <laughs> you, don't, you don't just trot out the, uh, the old the cliches. <laughs> Right, so lips with hips, mm -hmm. which I'm loving. Mm -hmm. So you can see the natural dip here. So let's go around and plump this side out too, just so you get the idea. It's a real kind of curve. Mm. You would normally go straight, naturally, if you were doing it. And that's why it's nice to keep your lips um, relaxed as they are. I haven't asked you to stretch them around your teeth, mm -hmm. because then you do get a little bit confused on where to go. And again, it's super, super soft. And then fill in, because we don't want any um, telltale lines, the whole lip line, the word out of line needs to be moved out of lip line, doesn't it? Because mm. we just want to use that as a great base. What would you call it? Seeing that you're on a roll with your... Mm. Lip base. And that doesn't work, so don't push me. Lip deformer. It comes naturally, Ruth. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> this is an alliteration. Can't, can't force these moments lips of genius. Lips with hips, rhyming or alliterations. <laughs> yeah. Right, and just with your finger, because we're just going for that barely there stain, stretch your lips for me. And great. Nice just to push that colour in which is really cool, soft and pretty. So it just looks really feminine. Well done, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. I feel so fresh. Face. Do you actually mean that? Because obviously you work on your face a lot. Yeah, no, I do mean that. I mean, that's how I would execute yeah. that look, but I think you look great. Yeah. Okay. Well, you are, you are actually genuinely convinced. I am genuinely, do well, I not sound genuine? No, I'm just, do you know what our world's like? I do feel like I've had a little lift, you know, with tape or something. Brilliant. Oh, my skin. I don't need to get the tape out then. No, no, keep that in there. Is that one of your celebrity tricks? <laughs> they are beauty secrets, after all. Right, you can come back again. Oh, and we are, we're doing, we're doing a couple more videos now. Okay, After lunch, tea. maybe. Cup of tea. Cup of tea, all right. Oh, make sure you check out Caroline's Instagram little short videos, which was what inspired this whole thing in the first place, wasn't it? We have worked together for We have worked together, yeah, but... Over the years. Our little reunion. Yeah.